yeah. Oh, uh, doesn't she have a lesson today? Oh, you're so right, I forgot. You know, oh. I get started practicing and I lose all sense of time. Oh, Come on, look at right here. Thank you. Oh, great. Oh, oh, where is he? Huh? Where is he? Where he's not here. Your father's not here. Oh, look, Daddy, the puppy. Oh, the oh, puppy. Oh, well, you know, the last time I saw him, I think he was asleep under your daddy's bed. Well, can I go see him? Uh, yes, go. Okay. Well, now that the important thing seems to be taken care of, can I make you some tea or something? Oh, no, that's okay. Don't go too Oh, no, I'm, I'm about to make some for myself. I'd really enjoy your company. Well, I never refuse a cup of tea. Well, English. then, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Let me turn the kettle on here. Nice you know, yeah. I had some herb tea here. Mm -hmm. I tried it out on Robert when he was here. He seemed to like it. Uh, by the way, have you heard from him? No, I haven't. I was about to ask you the same question, actually. I certainly haven't heard from him. Yeah, I just seem to have this talent for upsetting him. I don't know what it is. I don't even try. I'm around him and I irritate him. I don't know why. Good. It's about time someone did that. You think that's good? Of course it's good. It's perfect for him. Exactly what he needs. And I mean, he spends most of his time trying to intimidate women, and, well, you know, it's just a shame. What's a shame? It's just, it's not, I don't know. What? It's just a shame you're engaged, that's all. Why? Well, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, it's very good you're engaged. I'm very happy for you. It's, hmm. you know, I'm, did you set a date yet? <laughs> no, we haven't. Oh. Not yet. Oh, well, you should. I mean, you know, you should. I mean, the sooner you set a date, then the sooner you can start making plans. Well, you know, I... I haven't really thought about it yet. Mm. Between Paul's career and my career, yeah. it's really difficult to find a time when we're both together. Excuse me. Right. Well, working girl, I suppose, you know, I mean, uh, you should find time plan. It depends what kind of a wedding you want. I mean, some of them can be very complicated to prepare and all. Yes, well... Well, I'm not in any rush. You know, I believe in long engagements. Ah. Yeah. Well, most people that are in love, you know, they're too impatient for long engagements. Well, but I'm realistic, and so is Paul. You know, I, our individual careers consume so much of our time and energy that it's really difficult. My lessons won't wake him, will they? Hmm? Is Friday asleep? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, yeah. Um, can we play, like, quiet music, not, you know, loud music? <laughs> loud music? I think you are really your father's daughter. I'll tell you what. Okay. Can you play scales really quietly? Yes. Then we'll do it. All right. I'm not going to bother you here, uh, am I? No, we don't mind an audience, do we? Oh, I hope I don't make any mistakes. You know? oh. I'm not as good as you are. Well, listen, mistakes are how we all learn. Trust me, I have made more than my share of them. Okay. Let's try this. See how much you practice. Ready? Okay, hey, warming up my hands. Okay, okay, here we go. What the devil do you mean, Councilman Carney? Who the hell are you? Well, what exactly does a manager do? Uh, he sort of runs your life for you. <laughs> Mr. Donay does just about everything for me. He looks after Miss Delafield's career, you know, where she plays and what uh, money All she... of the above. I apologize for not uh, calling before I came. Well, I, I forgive you. But I didn't expect you here until next week. Well, I certainly didn't expect someone else to answer the door. I apologize for shouting at you. Well, oh, that's all right. I allow him these few little temper tantrums because I love him. Besides that, you know, my career wouldn't exist without Donnie. Yeah. Well, I expect you have a lot to talk about then. Mm. Well, that means then I, I don't have to finish my lesson? No. Uh, uh, it really breaks your heart, doesn't it? Well, she has a lot on her mind, you know, oh. pets and shopping and stuff. Yes, and... we're going to take our BJ shopping. We're going to get her a new little dress. She's going to visit her dad's Oh. Well, well, then your musical career will just have to wait until next week. Okay. Right. Well, we'll be going then. All right. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me, you know, play with the doggy. Do you have a dog? I'll explain that to you later. So, uh, Mr. Donay, it's very nice meeting you. Yes. You're going to be around long? Uh, I'm not sure. Long I'll... enough to complicate my life. I... Right. That's my job and my sole purpose, my dear. Maybe one of these days I'll manage your career, huh? Well, I think I'm going to join the police department like my mom and dad. Police? Uh, 
I'll explain that to you later, too. Well, okay. I think you should have lots of fun shopping today. Yes. Oh, well, yes, we will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Friday. All right. Thanks Bye. for everything, Catherine. Yeah. Who is Friday? The dog. You have no business having a dog any more than canceling Carnegie Hall. It's for a good cause, Don. You call a local yokel benefit for a bunch of children a good cause? Donnie, be reasonable. I didn't cancel anything. When they asked me to play the benefit, the New York date wasn't even final yet. I didn't think it would interfere, so I accepted. No pay, of course. They couldn't afford to pay me, you know that. Besides, the General Hospital Daycare Center is a very good cause. You know, you're being very generous giving your talent away like that. But what about me? You're taking money out of my pocket. Now, how about all those years of hard work I put into you and your talent? And since when do you have enough time to have pets and to give piano lessons? You should spend every waking moment you have practicing. I... Your time and your talent are much too valuable to throw away on this kind of nonsense. I'm only doing a favor for a friend and it doesn't take up much time. Apart from that, I've spent every waking moment practicing. Just the same. When I am not here to take care of you, you must take care of it. You must nurture your talent the way I do. You must work on it. You must hone it the way I have since I've discovered you. I made you a star. And only hard work will keep you there. And you are that star. Shining as I might have once if I hadn't gotten sick. But you're getting so much better. I mean, I'm really proud of you. As far as I know, you haven't even had a drink in months. Of course I haven't. Now, can we get down to business? Since you insist on this benefit insanity, we have to give New York an alternate date. Okay. Oops, I'll get it. Hello, come in. How nice to see you. I was hoping you'd be at home. Yeah, look at you. Look at Oh, oh it's so good to see you. Oh, I missed you. It's good to see you, too. Has she been a good girl? Oh, the yeah. best little girl. <laughs> I miss you, honey. Daddy misses you, too. Okay. I've got a few things i got to talk to you about. Oh, okay, then. Um, can you take BJ into the nursery just for a second? Oh, sure. Do you want to go Let's play? Go with you. You go the rabbit? Come on. Take your rabbit. Come on, you go. Come here. Come on. We have to go in the nursery. Come here. <laughs> Whoa. Come here, BJ. <laughs> Let's put you in the dress. So many toys. I've never seen so I many know. toys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Please, she likes to sing with you. She likes to sing with you. She's a very good girl. Yes, she is a good girl. Oh, good heavens. They're adorable I know. together. They're so sweet together. So tell me about Tony. He's not worth anything, is he? Well, no, not physically, but emotionally. He's not in very good shape. Mm -hmm. Dealing with this blindness is the toughest thing that he's ever had to do. Oh, yeah, I know that. And he's fighting very hard. And, of course, BJ is his motivation. He's, mm -hmm. he's ready to be with her. Well, I'll bring her around immediately now. We've got permission and everything. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. He's very nervous about seeing BJ because he doesn't want to frighten her. So will you help me prepare her for her visit? Yeah, how do we do that there? Well, I guess we just talk to her about it. Yeah. It's very significant for Tony. He needs to believe that whether he can ever see again or not, he'll be able to go home with this little girl. that again. Your timing is off. You shouldn't be surprised. You're not giving it the attention it deserves. You're letting too many things crowd in on your career. Is this better? Don't ask for praise. When you deserve it, you'll get it. You're married? Don't stop! Joan, stop! I can't get anywhere with you, Abby, every two minutes. Besides that, you're jumping to all the wrong conclusions. This belongs to the man who rents my house. I didn't know you planned to do that either. I've done it before when I've gone on an extensive tour. 
you know, this time it was really a comedy of errors all the way around. You know, the real estate lady never got my cable saying that I was coming back, and Robert had signed a long lease and paid well in advance. Robert? Yeah, that's the man's name. It's Robert Scorpio. He's the police commissioner here. I see. And you're on a first-name basis. You must have gotten to know each other pretty well. We worked out an arrangement. An arrangement? I couldn't put him out, and he let me come in at least to practice. Are you telling me that you're now living with a perfect stranger? <laughs> you're not listening to me. I... Robert lives here alone, and while he's away at work during the day, I come here to practice. It works very well. I don't like the tone of your voice when you talk about this man. Does Paul know about this arrangement? He couldn't possibly approve of it. Paul understands completely. He has no problems with this at all. Catherine, I know you better than anyone on earth. If Paul approves, he's a fool. It's going to be a very, very special day for Tony. And for BJ, too. Uh, even Robin wants to go and buy her a new dress for him. <laughs> Anna, are you going to be able to manage all this without Olin? Oh, yes. I can't wait to be on my own with my little girls. Mm, Tony sure can't wait to see his. Yes, be with his. Gosh, this is difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Especially for Tony. But we'll do the best we can with BJ. Could be a big turning point for Tony. Yeah, I hope so. I feel so badly for him. You know, in a way, I feel badly for you, too. I know how attached you've gotten to BJ. That's right, we all have. But, you know, don't worry, because even when Tony takes her back, you're going to be able to see her whenever you want. I know that. It's just there's something so special about having your little girl in the other room sleep, and then in the morning you wake up and see a gorgeous little face. Magical, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I got a little taste of it when I was looking after myself. I think women who have little ones are the luckiest people in the world. Yeah. I hope you're going to be able to have another one, Anna. I hope so. Has it been difficult for you, looking after her so soon after you lost your own? Mm, no, not really. I mean, I think it's helped, actually. But, uh, I mean, there's people that are worse off than me. Uh, that girl, Hillary, I feel really sorry for. Oh, Hillary, of course, Duke's new assistant manager. Yeah, well, you know, she lost her little girl and her husband in a terrible accident. That's awful. Mm. I mean, how do you get over something like that? You know, you lose your husband as well. Uh, oh, I'll get it. Hi. Hillary. I hope you don't mind a visitor. No, we, we were just talking about you. Come in. Oh, I haven't done something wrong, have I? No, 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 that's all. Cool. You remember Bobby, don't you? Oh, it's nice to see you again. Hey, good to see you, too. I was running Sorry. some errands for the club, but I wanted yeah. to stop by with this. It's a little something I picked up for BJ. You're going to spoil her. That's the idea. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't agree more. Well, we're all going to spoil her. Huh? What is it? <laughs> BJ's fan edible. club. <laughs> BJ, too. So much oh. too. Oh, oh. Isn't that treat? Oh, first let me go look at BJ. Can you help I know it's the way you like it. When I'm upset, I can't eat. I still don't understand how you could leave me out. An engagement is a big thing in a person's life. The least you could have done after all these years is include me in the party. I didn't know there was going to be a party. I didn't even know there was going to be an engagement, for that matter. The whole thing came as much of a surprise to me as it was to you. Shouldn't have been, I suppose, to either one of us. Well, you know, Paul showed up here in Port Charles unexpectedly. He gave me the ring, wanted to have the party. I didn't have time to tell you, let alone bring you all the way back from Europe. Just the same. Send a telegram. Do anything you can I to... really, I'm really sorry you weren't there. I miss you. All right, enough said. But don't you dare relope. I'm going <laughs> to walk you down that aisle on your wedding day. I hate these savage customs, <laughs> but I'm going to give you away, aren't I? I wouldn't have anyone else. You've been like a father to me all these years. Did you set a date? I don't think you should wait too long. Well, Paul is off on another assignment, and we really didn't have a chance to discuss it before he left. Tell me something. Why are you so interested in my marrying Paul DeVore? Oh, it's obvious. He's the perfect man for you. 
Why do you say that? All right. Clear and to the point. You're a beautiful woman. You're creative. You're gifted. You're, well, like so many other young desirable women, you indulge in romantic fantasies. <laughs> it would be a disaster if you get carried away and, oh. heaven forbid, truly fell in love. So, Paul is my protection against that. He's a good man. He's intelligent, he's steady, and he's so involved in his own career, he wouldn't interfere with yours. Well, what about love? Isn't that supposed to enter into a marital mix someplace? There you go, love. Catherine, I must tell you, it's mostly an illusion. Now, I know you don't love Paul, at least not passionately, but what you do feel for him makes for the best kind of marriage. And love will come. Believe me, you'll see. Well... Now, you've followed my advice through all these years, and I hope you don't stop now. You know, sometimes I wonder if I'm missing something here. That commissioner is making you do that, isn't he? You are getting romantic notions about this Robert you mentioned. Don't, don't be ridiculous. Well... What if I were? What if you're right, and I am getting romantic notions about him? What would be so wrong about that? He's a policeman, for heaven's sakes. How could he possibly appreciate your work? You might be surprised, friend, you know. He is one policeman you should never underestimate. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Hillary. Oh, yes. thank you for inviting me to tag along. Thank you very yeah. much. I couldn't have coped with a two-year-old, you know, on my oh. own. This woman has a little mind of her own, don't you? <laughs> do you want a cup of tea, Hillary? I could do one. Oh, well, that means they want to talk to you. Oh, no, it doesn't mean that at all. You can stay in here. Oh, that's, that's fine. I just wanted right, to hear you. Want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? Cup? Hey. Hillary? Uh, would you oh, hit her up to Hillary? Oh, Hello. would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking. My little girl was a terror when we would go shopping. Oh, really? Like BJ, she had a mind of her own. Oh, Very no. strong-willed. Yeah, they she are. She was a difficult age. She was a difficult age. It's a long time since you've been too. Uh -huh. We're going to make tea. Anyway, we don't have to talk about that. Oh, no, no. It, it helps to talk about it. It hurts. Uh, and the emptiness is always there. But uh, that's why it's great to be with BJ. It helps a lot <laughs> to be with BJ. Okay, well, you can play with her any time you want, you know. Thank you. Right, um, well, uh, we're going to make the tea, shall we? Want to help me with the tea? Okay. Tea. All right, I got that one, too. Oh.